How's going on everybody? It's me, the one that loves cartoons, and in today's video, well, I'm gonna be talking about cartoon. We saw in the Ninjago 2022 season poster that a lot of villains are coming back. We have Mr. E in the poster, we have the Skull Sorcerer, we have Asphira, Pythor, the Mechanic. And it's looking like they're working for the Overlord. So, we basically have six returning villains. But there are two villains that we were asking for their return ever since the ending of Season 7, Hands of Time. Those two are, of course, Crux and Acronix. The Hands of Time. So, Season 7, Hands of Time ends with a big cliffhanger, okay? We end with Master Wu, Crux and Acronix lost in time, okay? But somehow Master Wu came back in Season 8, Sons of Garmadon, but the Time Twins... They were nowhere to be found. They just never spoke of them after season 7. So yeah, and they never appeared again. So what happened to Crocs and Chronics? I feel like they're villains that really should come back and join these villains for this next Ninjago season because seriously, these two villains are the most requested villains to return. Yet the Ninjago writers and Ninjago staff in general, they went with the villains like Mr. E. Skull Sorcerer, Asphira, Pythor, instead of Crux and Acronics, which are villains that a lot of people want to come back. And don't get me wrong, I'm very much excited for these villains, like Mr. E, Pythor, to return, okay? But I also want the Time Twins to come back. We don't know what really happened to them, okay? If Master Wu made it back, then they could also come back as well. Are they still lost in time? We don't know, okay? We really didn't know what happened to these two after season 7 because they never mentioned them again. I made a video on my channel a while ago talking about season 8 Sons of Garmadon and that it should have been a sequel to season 7 Hands of Time instead of being SOG and I still stand by this point. While I love SOG, there's a lot of plot holes that season 7 left us with. So what happened to the Time Twins? We got that golden hour short, okay? And uh, a lot of people liked this short. And yeah, I, I like this short. But my problem with that short is that it didn't explain what happened to the time to us. It only showed the extended fight between Master Wu and Crux and Acronix. We didn't get to see them. We only saw Baby Wu floating in the time vortex. And then at the very end, we saw the Iron Doom being frozen in time. And we saw Master Wu becoming a baby because he was de-aging. But the hands of time were nowhere to be found. We didn't even see what happened to them. I feel like they really have a good opportunity to bring these two back to action in this next Ninjago season. I mean, really, they're bringing back Asphira, but not Crocs and Acronix. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy that they're bringing back Asphira. They're giving her a second chance because she was very wasted in Secrets of the Forbidden Spinja 2. And she wasn't well written, so she definitely deserves a second chance. But yeah, we really need Crocs and Acronix to come back. Will they return in this next Ninjago season? I doubt that will happen because this season has a lot of stuff going on, okay? So I don't think they will have Crux and Acronix in, in this season. Because even because even if they will have Crux and Acronix, they could really rush their reintroduction. Because again, this season has a lot of stuff. You have returning villains, possibly revealing the Vengestone buyer, okay? The ninjas coping with Nia's loss. But who knows, maybe they will come back in this next Ninjago season. And actually, they return would make a lot of sense, okay, in this next Ninjago season, because they became bad guys in the first place, because in season 7, in that flashback, they wanted to to be the leaders, they wanted to rule, because they have the power of time. And they think that their power is the most powerful power in the world. So they think they should rule. And they fought the elemental masters and all of that, so... Since Vengestone will be thing in this next Ninjago season and Vengestone blocks elemental powers, it would make more sense for Crux and Acronix to be the strongest because the other elemental masters won't have their powers because of Vengestone, so Crux and Acronix will be at the top, okay? They will be the strongest and so I think, yeah, it would make a lot of sense for them to be part of this whole Vengestone thing. So yeah, I think it would make a lot of sense to have Crux and Acronix be part of this whole Venge Stone story that is going, it would make a lot of sense for their return in this next Ninjago season. And maybe they're not in the poster to just to have them as twist villains, okay? So yeah, if these two are coming back, I would love that, okay? I would love for their return. But if they're not, that would be fine, okay? But I would still love for their return. 
if they're not going to bring them back as this, in this next Ninjago season, I would love for them to return in a future Ninjago installment. But this season is looking like it's going to be the end of the show, so we don't know, okay? So that's all I have to say in this video. Do you guys want the Hands of Time to come back or not? I would love to see them back. So yeah, especially in this next Ninjago season. So if you guys like this video, then give it a like. And if you're not subscribed, then subscribe. It means a lot to me. And turn on the notifications. You'll be the first one to know when I upload a video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm the one that loves this cartoon. And you're the one that loves it too.